Water, water everywhere. In addition to oil and gas deposits, Norway's abundant water makes it one of Europe's most important energy producers. Tall mountains and high precipitation provide ideal conditions for hydropower. Blosho, the country's largest reservoir, lies at an elevation of more than a thousand meters. Fourteen dams ensure that the pump storage power station connected to it always has enough water. The turbines deep in the rock produce 2,000 megawatts an hour, more than a nuclear power station. The water coming into this turbine starts to rotate the turbine. The generator rotates and then we produce power. So simple as it. The power station can also store electricity. To do so, the turbines pump water back up into the mountain. When needed, it's discharged again and the turbines produce electricity. The Blåsjø, the large reservoir on the very top of this system, uh, has a stored energy close to 8 terawatt hours when it's filled up with water. And that's a very large battery. And that would be equal four years supply of energy to, for example, Stavanger area, without no need of rain or snow. With relatively little effort, energy from Germany could also be temporarily stored in Ulefora. For that, both the German and Norwegian electricity grids would have to be extended. Much more importantly, it would require a high capacity cable link between the two countries. The Dutch have had access to the Norwegian grid since 2008. Denmark has several cable connections to its neighbour in the north. A similar link to Britain is in the planning. The submarine cable to Germany is set to be laid starting next year. But the grid operator, Statnet, doesn't just want to export energy to Germany. The whole idea here is uh, to exchange power so that when there is a surplus of wind power and solar power in Germany, we can import that for a reasonable price. And when you haven't got sun, you haven't got wind, and you have a larger demand, then we can export our hydropower for a reasonable price to Germany. The investment costs for the link to Germany are about 2 billion euros. That would increase the price of energy in Norway. But in the cold north, heating is almost exclusively electric. No other country in the world uses so much electricity. In Oslo, the House Owners Lobby Association views the plans with scepticism. Being connected to the European grid means we also import European prices, which actually raises the price levels here a lot. And he says saving electricity would be difficult for the Norwegians. You can stop heating, <laughs> heating the pavements with electricity. But I mean, in, in a normal home, uh, the building is there and it has a certain energy quality. And if you don't uh, use the amount of energy you need to keep it warm, well, you will freeze. That is the problem. The electric power companies want to make Norway a supplier for all of Europe. Activists like Lasse Heimdahl fear that that would have a massive impact on the environment. There are no solution to build more power plants. The solution is finding new technology and find a solution for energy storing and energy saving. We are really afraid that Stadkraft and similar companies will only value the Norwegian uh, nature according to money and kilowatt and not giving the value of nature uh, itself the right price. Germany will need the Norwegian water reservoirs in future because it's decided to abandon nuclear energy. And the hydropower plant in Ulefora is by no means stretched to capacity. We have analysed it and of course it's possible to increase the pump storage capacity without do doing anything with the reservoirs, with the tunnels, with the dams. The country's power companies are ready and willing. In 2020, German electricity from wind and solar energy sources could be stored in Norway 
for the first time.